In this video, I'm going to talk about probably the most important thing you need to do before you even start painting your models. Most people forget this step. Hello and welcome back to another one of your father's favorite sponges for washing the car. Everybody keeps asking me, Mr. Ground Affected now, how do I prepare my 3D models for painting? That is actually a joke. Nobody ever asked me this. I don't think people even think about this. What is it that I'm talking about? It's preparation of the surfaces you're about to paint. For well, this process, what we're going to need is a very simple tool. We're going to need something like your child's small toothbrush, very important. We're also going to need something very soft, your wife's favorite blending brush. We're also going to use something like this, which is a Tamiya sanding sponge set. It's sandpaper, but on a sponge. We're also going to use normal sandpaper. So when you are preparing your model, you want to make sure that certain things are very smooth. The most important thing that I would do is sand that item first. Sanding like this is going to create a very scratchy surface. However, it's going to take off the main big clumps, particularly if you have any marks left over from your supports from when you were printing it. Once you've sanded the piece that you want to make smooth, you want to make sure you dust that off, make it nice and clean. Then using the Tamiya sanding sponge, this will make your surface very, very smooth. You can again give it a brush. Sometimes there's a bit of gunk stuck in a space. You can use your child's toothbrush to get that out. Great. Now that we've got to that point, we have a smooth surface. Let me explain to you very carefully why a smooth surface is extremely important for you to start working on. Looking at the super high tech graphic that I've drawn for you, what we can see in the first graphic is the surface of the statue. It is smooth. You can see the primer layer goes over that surface nice and smooth. The base layer goes over that surface nice and smooth. And your other or details layers is gonna go over that super smooth. Unfortunately, if you have dirt and dust built up on the surface of your model, this is not gonna give you a smooth outcome. As you can see immediately just from the primer layer, there is bumps. As you move on to the base layer, you start getting more bumps. And your other and details layer is always going to have bumps. This is the layer that everybody sees and you do not want to have bumps in the last layer. Otherwise you have a not very good looking model. This is something that starts at the beginning. If you do not do this step, you are going to have problems down the line. Before I even got close to putting paint near my model, I'd make sure to go through and brush all the pieces that might be stuck within the tiny little bits in his ears, at the back of his ears here, mainly from me cleaning up the supports when I took it off the print. I'll go through and clean it all up very good and proper. All the grooves, make sure there is absolutely not a single piece of any of those little bits from sanding and wiping and cleaning anywhere on the model. Once I've done that, I will then take my wife's favorite blending brush and brush through the model, making sure that all the fine little pieces of dust, tiny little pieces of hair, all the things that are in your house are not on the model anymore. This model needs to be absolutely spotless before you even put the first lick of paint on, and then you can start to paint it. As you can see here, sometimes that texture underneath the surface is not as much of a problem if you're doing something that's going to become dirty at the end of the day. Unfortunately, if it was on something like his foot, it will definitely show through because that's a very smooth item. Something like these planks, I never paid nearly as much attention to getting that detail super crispy clean before I started painting it because this is meant to be dirty. So something like this will work well with the textures underneath, but on the main model, that's not something you want to have. So as you can see, it's very important for you to make sure that the surface you're starting to paint is clean long before you start to paint it. If you enjoyed the video today, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate all the support that I can get. All I'm trying to do is get my content out to more people so that more people can enjoy the same hobbies that I enjoy. If you didn't like that video, I think you know exactly what to do. All you have to do is just fuck off. In the next one, bro.